Yeah. Hey. Oh my God. Oh, it's good to see you. So great to be here. Uh, you want to check out a Zero Hour class? I would class? love to check out Zero Hour. Let's head that way. Okay, awesome. Let's go to the Critical Thinking Lab then. So this is our Critical Thinking Lab. It's all choice, so they can choose where they want to they want to go. This has been so much fun to watch the kids come alive and to have them come back and say to me, wow, critical thinking is so much fun. And then what's really nice is be, as they walk in the door, each kid is required to give the Critical Thinking Lab promise. On it, they're promising to communicate, to collaborate. So every time they come here, we're working on that language again and reminding them that working together is how it's going to be successful. That's awesome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and you're playing, what's the name of this game? Um, Ballad Spades. This is awesome. What do you think of Zero Hour? It's super fun. What do you call this room? The Critical Thinking Lab. Critical Thinking? But you just said you had fun. Tell me about the critical thinking part. Well, you have to think to solve these challenges with your friends. Oh, that's cool. And do you like doing that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to see how we're going to balance this. Very clever. <gasps> you did it! <laughs> One of the purposes of Zero Hour is to give teachers extended PLC time and so that they can work through some of the things in our graduate profile. So I'll show you that so you can see that. We just made the room quiet. And we did make the room quiet. Hi everybody. <laughs> so this is our focus. We decided this a couple of years ago. It's part of the graduate profile, the adaptable and reflective individuals. And so everything that we do ties back to these guiding questions. And one thing that we're doing as a school is we have um, school-wide goal setting. And so students are setting personal and academic goals. Oh my goodness, owning their own learning. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Um, I thought we could go check out uh, some kiddos uh, talking about their, their goal setting. That would be awesome. Okay, let's go. You have a crown. That is so cool. And you got it by counting the tens? Yeah. How far up can you go when you count the tens? 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70. How did you get your crown? By learning all my sight words. You learned all your sight words? Yeah. Was there like one or two sight words? No, 25. 140, 140, 150. Now, what is your favorite sight word? The. Really? The. I love that. 280, 290, 40. I, I, I know, I saw your eyes do that calculation. It's fabulous. There's a basketball court, as you can see. They can move it up as they are progressing towards their goal. And when they get a slam dunk, they go to the top and they get another basketball and they set another goal. JJ, do you have a personal goal back here as well? Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here, let's walk over here. You, let's pull it. So you have a slam dunk. So you met your goal? Yes, this is so exciting to read harder books and to organize my colors in my box. Did you find a book that you really loved? Yeah. What was it? The Polar Express. It's a fantastic book though, isn't it? Yes. I am so proud of you. So I was sharing with them about how we really are focusing on collective responsibility so that we know all kids in the school right now and what a good job you guys have done partnering together. So kind of as we started our collective responsibility journey, I'd say, um, Tiffany's just been such a great example of how this can work. She's just taken initiative, goes above and beyond every day. Um, and it's just, it's just awesome seeing the relationships. Relationships are <laughs> the key. relationships that have been, you know, we get to build, and um, you know, you just don't always get to see that. And so, it's really been a great example, example to see how all staff are all students. Like, you know, sorry. I, I feel it. <laughs> to me, collective responsibility means being willing to um, step out, even when it's in areas that you're not familiar with or experienced in. And I think it's the trust part too that helps, that, that Miss Sutton trusts me to, to step into this new area. And I've, I'm so thankful because I learned a lot 
through it. All right. Well, Principal Roberts, this has been a great day. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We have some helpers here Absolutely. to help conclude our visit. So, ladies, how do we conclude every announcement every day? What do we say? Think big, dream big, believe big, and the results will be big. <laughs>